Chesapeake Bay might be the original national treasure. It's surrounded by urban metropolises, including our nation's capital. The seafood bounty it provides is world class. But the Chesapeake might be one of the meccas of duck hunting. That's why we're here. about to get after some sea ducks on the historic Chesapeake Bay. We have a very wide range of waterfall experience between the vets on this trip, uh, but what was really nice is I got to get an old friend who I've been on hunts with all across the country on his first veterans event. So let's meet the veterans. I'm Jacob Bloom. I was in the Army National Guard and Air National Guard. I deployed to Iraq in 2003. Kyrgyzstan in 2009, Afghanistan in 2011, and I currently live in Tennessee. My name is Kellen Jardine. I served in the United States Army from 2012 to 2020. I live in Washington State in a small town called Mansfield, Washington. Mike Keller, United States Marine Corps, 1994 to 1997. I currently live in Wind Lake, Wisconsin. So I recently got interested in hunting. And last year, I had got the opportunity to go on a veteran's waterfowl hunt. And this year, I saw this opportunity for sea ducks, and I knew I had to be part of it. So I never had a, uh, any sort of background in waterfowl or ducks, pretty much any bird. Uh, I do a lot of big game. I guide for deer, elk, and bear. It's... That's been my passion, so knowing that I don't know a lot about waterfowl this trip just it sent me off the edge. I had to know about it. I had to know how these guys are so successful and how difficult this sport really is. So Ryan and I have known each other for several years, and we've hunted all over the country together, and um, it's been a really great opportunity knowing Ryan and hunting around the all over with him, basically. And... Um, he had given me a call a little while ago about an opportunity that he had, and I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it fit into my schedule because I had just started working on my captain's license and getting through that and starting a guide service myself for Old Squaws in um, Lake Michigan. And um, when he told me that it was on the historic Chesapeake Bay and that it was fully guided and that I didn't have to do anything at all, I could just go hunting, I didn't have to bring ammo, that's probably what got me, especially this year. You all know me, all about the grub. So the first thing we're gonna do, after he's done with his little selfie action, is eat some crap. What's up, guys? Two. Yeah, this is perfect. Thank you. A little steak and crab. Are you, are you Instagramming your food? I'm, I'm Instagramming my food. I'm gonna in a second. My so. <laughs>
So we got to have the opportunity to hunt out of a layout blind in the middle of the ocean. I am a Midwesterner. I don't live on the ocean. I don't deal with the ocean. So being out there in a wide open where you can barely see land in any direction is just crazy. Floaters are one of my favorite duck. Um, you know, there's three different types of them. Uh, they're all unique. They all look different, and they're all very distinct when they come in. From the start of the day, it was an all new experience for me. I had never once sat in a layout blind on water. The, the tender boat was a type of boat I've never even seen before. The, the feel of it on the water, the feel of shooting off of a boat in two, three foot waves, that's an experience to itself. It adds an extra level of difficulty to the sport. These events are more than just the hunt. Uh, it's about the across the board exposure to new things. Um, you know, the new species of ducks, the layout boat, um, the local food and culture, and, you know, just spending time together with fellow veterans, enjoying that bond uh, of shared experience and experiences. So one of the things that I never expected coming on a veterans hunt is what veterans would be on the veterans hunt. Um, I think I was like, oh yeah, Buddha and me and we're going to have some old guys there and it's going to be cool. And um, on the first night, we were sitting around talking, and uh, they asked me what, when I went in. And uh, one of the guys was like, I was born a year before that. And it, and it set into me, like, we went from Bill Clinton to Barack Obama. All the different years in between there in, with, with the four guys that were on this hunt. It was pretty cool. So... One of the greatest things about these trips on with other veterans is just kind of hanging out afterwards. You know, you're out there in the blind almost by yourself. Then you get to come back and hang out, talk, you know, make fun of each other. And, you know, we get to experience the area that we're in. And, you know, for me, this is a new new place that I've never been. I'm not a big seafood person, so I was able to be pushed out of my comfort zone and got to try new food, and it turns out I like it. And the, the whole experience is more about being around people that are your friends even though you don't know them. This veterans hunt has been incredible for me. It's, it's nice to get out with different guys from different walks of life and see where they came from, the struggles that they've experienced, their experience in the military. Um, every vet knows another vet. You can see the same thing. You've had similar experiences, never really the same.
but you understand people struggle. You all embrace the suck somewhere, somehow, with someone else. Um, it's it's something that you'll never lose, and you'll always be able to find someone who has that, and it's, it, it brings you together pretty quick.